What? No! What is this? No. That costed me second place. Now I've got third. What the turd? This game literally made me turn into a turd. Now I'm going over here because I suck. Oh my god! Wow! Hello everyone, Huge Own One here, and today we're playing more Roblox, and today's game is Super Roblox Kart. Yes, they came out because Mario Kart R went into a deep dead zone. This came out. And I figured, why not play it? I started playing this a while ago, which is why I have a couple carts. This is one of the ones I bought. I don't know what that thing is, it's probably coming from the map. Maybe it's the background. Yeah, it's the background. They, sh they need to, um, what they really need to do is use skybox instead of a giant This part. Why did he stop? I don't expect uh -huh. that someone who's actually just. That's the bike I have. I'm good, huh? But basically, this is like a Mario Kart kind of game. It's pretty much the same thing, except with different power-ups. If you've heard of Mario Kart R, most of the power-ups from that are in this. The thing is, the nukes are upgraded, because now they attack instantly instead of having to wait a couple seconds. If you are familiar with that game. So this is not going to be... So what we're going to do is play like... Four races. And if there's a battle, that will not count as a race. So we're pretty much going to play like as if there was a cup. Because look how long we gotta wait. What's that equivalent to? Um, that's around five minutes of waiting time. This is new about your city. Some of the tracks are custom in this game, some are not. What the heck? How did he glitch through the wall? Well, you just killed yourself. Well, that was very smart. That was very smart. As you can tell, this card came from Mario Kart DS. Yeah, don't be that idiot and crash and die through the wall. There's just about four minutes until we are about to begin the next race. <laughs> so you kind of can get the idea. In those four minutes, you'll kind of get the idea of what power-ups are in the game before I actually begin racing. Or you can just skip right through the video so you can get to the action. Those are your two options. <laughs> So really, it's just a, it's really, it's in, you're in for the long haul. Those red shells are actually, 
Those spiny red shells are actually the same thing as the blue ones, except the blast radius is bigger. Which I'm not going to do that in this video because it's very boring to watch. But it's also very beneficial. Speaking of that, I did that yesterday and I forgot to spend my money. So I'm going to go do that right now. Okay, where's the start? Here's the start. See all these carts? Most of them cost a lot. Which is why usually you're not supposed to coin farm, but on the rules they took it down. They might put it back up, I don't know. Nobody really cares. Let's work on the 150s now that I'm finished with that. Don't have enough funds. I bought that, and I don't want to use that. See, my goal is to collect as many carts as possible. But one of my favorites is that bike, so I'm going to switch to that. There's about less, a little bit less than two minutes remaining on the clock. This isn't my exact favorite bike, but it is a good bike that I that I like to use. Well, I don't use it in the actual Mario Kart because its statistics aren't really good. But in this game, statistics don't matter. Because everyone's carts is equally the same. I'm still racing. No, buddy, the game must have glitched again. Who cares? It's only a minute now. We've waited a while. So here are the items. I will go along those after the first race. Well, after each race, I'll go over each section. Yeah, each, after each race, I'll go over a certain amount of items. And... And also, cosmetical stuff like this. The race just ended at Neo Bowser City, which means they're right now about to begin the next race. Remember, there's going to be four races. The first one is about to begin. Unless if they vote for a battle map. Which I'm not... Which I'm not going to be too happy if they do that. But it's going to be okay because I'm going to withdraw people with power-ups. There's also a survival mode one as well. But that one's just, like, ridiculous. So there's usually a 30 second intermission between each round. And as you can see in the chat, they're talking about Super Mario Odyssey. Which came out a while ago, actually. As you can tell, the screen's a little big. I'm not going to vote on anything, I'm going to let everyone else vote. But these are kind of the idea of how the voting system works. There's usually four tracks on the list. We're going to Wii Block Plaza. This is a battle map, so therefore this will not count as a race. And instead, we're going to attack people with whatever power up we have.
And the chat's like, nobody understands. Who cares about winning battle maps yet though? As you can see in the chat, they keep saying, but no one will win. Maybe he'll add an update. You never know. Because there's no balloons or anything yet. That's a red show. If you see a laser. Got them both. Got them both. Got him both, you stuck him in the Oh, they kind of modified this track. Well, not track, but horse, as you can see. And Goku with different skin over there, and another player. Those are those two are the creators. They replaced Peach and Daisy with those two. supposed to go in the ground, but this is not high, highly advanced yet. Ah, I slammed you. The time stopped ticking. I can go through walls. Why can I go through walls? That's weird. Something happened. Now I can't move at all. Probably because I touched a green shell. What the heck? Okay. Guys, this server are obviously broke, so I will be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. And because of that server outbreak, I think we're about to begin the, uh, another round. I don't know how the server crashed or something on my device. Maybe it was just me or was it the whole server? Because sometimes developers sometimes shuts down servers for like a second. Like literally. It just cuts off the server and then you literally just like, click play again and you can play another server. Okay, so DS Twilight House is going to be another battle map. And it looks like there's only three players. This does not remind me of it, though. I mean, the ground does not remind me of DS Twilight. Somehow. 
By the way, those rockets, that rocket I can just use can go through walls. Like, it's insane. Fun game. The shells, the homing shells work pretty well. This game, I'm guessing because there's a lot of walls and it's in the square. So there's no way to increase the room. Yeah, and that's pretty much what this game yeah. is. Yeah. I will be right back after the break. I'm back. And right now we are in intermission, so that means we pretty much sped through the um, process. The reason why I had to cut that off for a while is because I had to do laundry. But we're back. And right now... We're waiting on the next track. I'm not voting, like, because I don't want to. And the track is Bowser's Castle. From Mario Kart Double Dash, I think. This is going to be counting as the first race. As you can see, the race is officially started. I gotta take this off me because I'm trying not to pause it anymore. I'm gonna get hit. I'm probably gonna get hit by this. <laughs> yep, I told you so. There's nothing I can't get hit by. What the heck, I crashed. Probably because walking and playing is not easy. Watch out for that. I'm about to get hit. For frick's sake. Is there a time where I don't get hit? If it's a little laggy, that's because... Take the trash back. It's not easy with one hand, so I'll just drag it. I'm gonna try racing with it like this. I'm probably gonna get a bad ranking because of this. My phone is getting wet. I got a crazy bomb, which is really a really powerful bomb. Crashed again because I wasn't looking where I was going in the game. See, I can't tell where I'm going anymore. I gotta drive this thing off. Okay, I'm inside now. Right back. Okay, I'm back and I'm was going the wrong way. That's the bomb. Again. Oh. 
I did not mean to touch that. I didn't even touch that. Backflip. Speed mushroom. Might not have enough time to finish this race. Because this is around the longest track in the game. There's also a track just like this. Oh, boy. That one's going into the void. Never mind! be built in the game. So, Nintendo, what were you thinking when you did six lines of fire? Three, you gotta worry about a little bit, but six? It's okay, we still got four, around four and a half, three and a half minutes to finish. As you can see, two of us are on lap two. We're all on lap two. Just out. Someone just reached lap three. Or in other words, I'm really behind. Can I at least beat somebody? That's all I care about. Because I don't want to be last. Finally! Hey, buddy. See ya. I'm not gonna get first, but I am gonna at least get second. I think she stopped. Crap, I actually stopped. Probably because of the water friction. We have two minutes to do it. First, it's already taken, as you can see on the bottom, it says finished with another user. Yeah! That was seriously wrong. We're almost at the end.
You got 20 seconds. We can make it, we can make it, we can make it, we can make it. Oh my gosh, there's just five seconds. Hey! Oh no, I think the game crashed. I actually got the finish. Took a long, took a while. This race I'm gonna get a better position because I didn't have those disadvantages that came out of taking out, uh, bringing in trash cans back and taking some trash out. But before we get started, why not look over some of the power-ups? All right, let's start with this row since we're on to, we finished one race. We got, there's a banana where you drop them and whoever touches it spins. There's a giant banana which is the same thing except bigger and you spin for longer. Green shells, you know what the deal is. You throw it, hit somebody, and you stun them. Red shell, you hit them. They home after the target and you hit them. But the black shell is new. It's similar to the green shell except it explodes. Like a bomb. Yeah, it's like a bomb shell. Gold shell is pretty much didn't get to finish but the gold shell you throw it it homes after a target and it will explode what is this track this must be a custom track x Ex xcita bike is the second race track we're gonna go on three laps and a lot more players than it was last time Good thing I don't have a bike. Ouch. Actually, I don't know if this is a custom track. I think I've seen this in front of like eight or something. Stop! Stop getting last play. What the heck? Sudden speed boost? difference is it targets the nearest player instead of the person in first. The Bowser show, you th it's from Mario Kart Tour. You throw it, it knocks whoever touches it, except it doesn't disappear when you touch it. Instead, it just pierces through you, and after a period of time, it will explode, I think. 
fire, you throw it. I mean, not throw it, you use it, and if it hits, it spins out the opponent. Fake item box will not will flip late racers if you touch it. Super item box gives you a frenzy. You can place it, and so if you place it, I recommend you grab it back because it'll give you a frenzy. We'll talk about those later. The mushroom gives you a small speed boost. Green mushroom gives you, or a one-up mushroom, gives you a longer speed boost. Golden mushroom gives you a, a lot of speed boosts into one product. Blooper. It's a little bit different in this game. You use it as if it was a trap. Like, you use it as if it was a banana. If someone touches it, they get ink. Super horn. It doesn't protect you, but it does spin racers out. Feather gives you the ability to jump... Jump. What well, it says slightly, but I don't find that slightly. It's big enough to where you can take certain shortcuts. Super speed makes you faster. Doesn't make you invincible, unfortunately. Bullet Bill increases your speed a lot. Knocks others who hit. Chain Chomp similar to Bullet Bill, except it well, it lasts longer, but with lower speed. Lightning allows you to shock everyone other than you and then it'll lower their speed for a couple of seconds and we'll go over more power-ups after more races but right now we're going to check out this which are the effects like the bomb car you haven't seen them yet it explodes anyone it touches the boulder will roll down tr tracks from hills and stuff and literally knock people over. Bowser statue, what I think... No, that's not what you just saw. It shoots fire that spins out other racers. Cataquack, quack, which I dealt with, I think, not yesterday, but a while ago. It, it will fling racers up in the air and if they hit it. In, if they hit it. Chain jump literally knocks people over. It charges at you if it sees you. The chomp rolls around the floor and does whatever stupid things. It will squish you, and it's not a good fight you want to pick out. The Goompa causes you to spin out if you touch it. The Koopa Zapper, if you touch it, it will make you spin out. Instead of just not only... It's, in the actual Mario Kart games, you would spin out and also have... Gets get shrunk and have reduced speed like it's so it reduces so much to the point where you're gonna have like half the racers in the game pass you in mario kart wii the fire pillar if you touch it you spin out and that's and we'll go over more after another race But right now, the next one, this one's about to end. How did he get underneath the map? I'm not sure. I don't know what glitches go on in this game. Oh, he can't go underneath the grass. The race is ended. I can tell she's got the golden helmet, and she's participating in um, the first NFL event. I participated in both, so I have everything, including the golden helmet. Well, I only selected my favorite team on the first event, but I, but I grabbed everything. But in the second one, I did every single team, so I have any, so I can wear anything I want, no matter what team I like. And in this case, it's the Ravens, and it's always going to be the Ravens. Yeah, I have all 32 of them. The XFL is about to start up, so maybe Roblox will do an event on that since they like football so much. Maybe not. All right, we're about to begin the next round. That was the second race you just saw. We got two more coming your way and then we're done.
DS test circle. There's 10 laps in this one. This track has never been heard of. I never even knew it was in Mario Kart DS, but actually I never because I never found it in Mario Kart DS when I played it. This track is very short. That's why you have 10 laps. All you gotta really do is this. One lap done. Don't touch the bomb! Watch out for that bomb. Oh, you can't really watch out, it infects the entire road. Yo, this is ridiculous. Stop attacking me! Attack someone else! Like here- like, come on. Can't finish a race without getting blown up. this anymore. This track is too small. I can't, it can't fit this many players. This is like... And I got second. That's not too bad with a race filled with chaos. Alright, and I will be right back after the break. Okay, we're back. And right now we are about to go over the third set of power ups and obstacles that are in the game. Now we're covering the tornado, which you leave it behind you. And it will literally flip racers that will literally start to go into it. The water rocket is only found in the Mecha, in the Mecha Bowser's boss battle. I've never seen, I actually never used this power up. It's used to damage it. The missile, you, it's pretty much, you tap it, it goes somewhere, and it blows up. Landmine, you step on it, it will go invisible after a period of time, but if you touch it, it, either way, it blows you up. Invisible missiles launches a homing missile that shoots the nearest person. It can be spotted by the smoke it leaves behind, and the lasers, I think, that target you, and it, this thing can travel through walls. Okay, next is the Banzi Bill. It's pretty much a bullet bill that goes down towards the ground and then explodes. Missile Bill acts similar to the invisible missile, but it will explode if it touches a wall. The bomb leaves a bomb behind you that blows up. The giant bomb is has a larger explosion. The nuke is a homing nuke. It's a homing nuke that will explode the nearest person and has a very big radius. The Ziki bomb, which you saw earlier, also known as the crazy bomb, leaves a huge bomb behind that explodes and then explodes into more bombs. 
we'll go over the rest of these power-ups after the next race. Right now we're going to go over the six more obstacles. Starting with Bowser's Statue 2. This is the one that you saw me at the first saw in the first race. Spits fireballs down the track and that explodes. And we'll wait for this to go out of the way because you won't be able to see what's going on. Next up is the Mo Monty Mole. Jumps out of its hole and it will flip someone who touched the um, hit it. Oil Slick. I haven't seen this in the game yet. I haven't seen the, ult, the mole either, but I haven't seen... But the um, Oil Slick slips racers over who go over it, makes them spin out. The Fire Bar is a set of fire the balls that spin around, spin out racers who hit it. The one you see is the three, one, the three, but the one earlier was a six. That's the... Then there's a Pokey. Moves around... The track horizontally and trips racers who touch it, and then the and then there's a shy guy, Galleen launches cannonballs. There's cannons that explode around the track and pretty much a lot anywhere in the track in that track. I think it's only in one track though. And we'll go over the rest after this last race at G Mushroom Peak, I think it said. No, I'm good. Oh, the track. Why am I back here? That's not fair. Why do I gotta start all the way back here? Oh, this was that custom track from um, that mod pack that goes into Mario Kart Wii. Item. No. <laughs> wow, look at this. So this was the track that that mod pack brought us. Don't bring me back to mushrooms. Go go! Go go! Effect in the game. There's the boost. I have two nukes. Oh, one nuke. That was a failure. Battery's at 10%. Let's plug in.
Hey. Touched it. That's okay, he fell too. Go, go! Go, go! Accidentally fell, that's not good. A lot of people hate this map, apparently. What? No! What is this? Yeah. No. That costed me second place. Now I've got third. What the turd? This game literally made me turn into a turd. Now I'm going over here because I suck. Anyways, that was the last race. And now we're going to go over the last set of power-ups and obstacles. And then this is going to be the end of it. Alright, next up is the Boo. It acts similar to an item box, except it just, it just really it just gives you a random item. Or won't give you anything. I don't know. It's supposed to be a stealing item. Purple Shell hunts down somebody like a red shell, and it splits into more sh shells after it hits them. A green, a red, and a yellow. You know what. And I already went over those three. The POW block is similar to lightning, except it spins out the person... It spins out all the racers except the person who uses it. Self-destruct. It will blow yourself up, but it also blow other people up. Ice flower throws ice balls that freeze people who touch them into a cube of ice for a few seconds. Golden flower throw one huge fireball that will spin out racers. It hits and explodes after a few seconds. A coin. This this one will give you two coins, but the blue one will give you ten coins. Hammer. When used, it will create a single shockwave that will fling players in a random direction. The golden one is the same thing, so you can use it five or more times. I've used that thing more than five times before, so that sign's wrong. The mega hammer. Same thing as the black one, except bigger radius and more power. Yoshi egg. Same. It's pretty much a different version of the purple shell. Red spiny shell is just like the blue spiny shell, except the explosion size can be very big. It's a lot bigger. Up to it can vary. It can go. It can be normal all the way to the size of a ziki bomb. And you know how big a ziki bomb's radius is. Pretty big. Winged spiny shell that flings over that flies over gaps and something that. The other one can't do. 
but the explosion size is small. Rainbow Star lasts much longer than Superstar, but it's also slower. And then Frenzy. There's a total of 12 different types of Frenzy. Getting you one will give you the power of a Superstar and allow you to use the items shown over and over. And then we're going to go over to these five things. The first, and then the, ra the last five obstacles is another one is called the Sidestepper, also known as a crab. If you touch it, you spin. Twomp is a stone statue that crashes down. Pretty much if you touch it, you get knocked over. Cars, touch it, knocked over. Plain simple. Star Twomp, same thing as the regular Twomp. If you touch it, you get knocked over. And finally, explosions. And these th explosions are caused by a lot of things. As I went over every single power up now, you should know how many things cause explosions. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. So if you want, if you like this video, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow.